So this video is going to be something a little bit different. For those of you that don't know, I work with a couple of people on my YouTube channel, James and Lily, and the pair of them came up with an amazing idea where I would sit at home during lockdown in the UK and tell you guys what I wish I'd have known or been able to tell myself five years ago. The last five years have been some of the most incredible and crazy five years of my life. And my opinion on so many things has changed drastically just through my experiences. Five years ago, I would have been 23 and that makes me feel incredibly, incredibly old. I think five whole years ago, I would have been 23. So I was not long out of university. I was definitely a lot more egotistical at 23 years old. I was at that stage where I was only just starting to learn certain things. I thought I could conquer the world and I thought I could do it maybe in a slightly different way to what I'd like to think now. Okay. Number one, what I would tell myself on that point, if I was chatting to 23 year old, five year ago, Ben, first thing I would say is you cannot do it alone and just don't even attempt to, genuinely don't even attempt to. Make sure you're surrounding yourselves with brilliant, brilliant people. That's something that's been so, so powerful for me. And particularly when it comes to business and entrepreneurship and all that sort of stuff, I see so many young, arrogant people that think that they can conquer the world alone and they alone know everything there is to know. And I know this is a typical thing to say, but you cannot do it alone. And I would be sat there right now opposite my 23 year old self, looking him dead in the eye saying, Ben, you cannot do this alone. Surround yourself with incredible people, learn from them, give them value, and hopefully you will be able to get value from them too. I think that's so, so, so important. Continue to surround yourself with brilliant, brilliant people and find them out. And you know, there's something that I wish I'd have implemented sooner. It would have been around learn from every single person you meet. It's not a case of, oh, when this certain person comes in the room, I'm now gonna learn from them. Every single person that you meet, you can learn something from and hold yourself accountable to doing so. So number one, better five years ago, surround yourself with brilliant people learn something from every single person that you meet and just do your best to offer them as much value as you possibly can. Number two, this would be a big one, stability in personal life. Again, I feel like this is a common trait of maybe young people, particularly young entrepreneurs, but it's a case of just taking on more than you can chew and just taking things on, taking things on, taking things on. But I have learned the hard way that the most effective way of maximizing your professional potential is by having a completely and utterly stable personal life. That is so, so, so important. And by the way, it is significantly more fulfilling than anything fleeting. You need to invest in your personal life and in your family for the long term and create the most stable environment that you possibly can. I was very fortunate. Just about now, Ben, five years ago, you will meet someone called Robin Gallant who will utterly change your life and she will teach you all of these things. Now, make it easy, okay? Remember that a stable personal life is so, so, so important. Invest in someone and invest in them for the long term. Don't expect this one person to come out of nowhere and be perfect overnight. Relationships take work and you need to dedicate yourself to them. You know, dedicate yourself to your family members, to your grandparents, to your siblings, to your parents. It's so, so, so important. Um, I recently had a little bit of a wake up moment when it was actually about two weeks ago. And I don't know if I'm gonna put this in James, but my, um, I had a call from my dad and long story short, my granddad had had a stroke overnight. He'd gone into the hospital, he'd had COVID. They put him on blood thinners. And during the night, he had a very low chance of survival. And I'm going to be honest, I thought he, he was going to pass. And it's, it's the only time in certainly in recent memory, potentially ever that I've genuinely felt heartbroken, genuinely heartbroken. It wasn't like pain in the same way that normal pain is. It was genuine heartbreak. And Again, that was just another realization for me more recently that investment in family is the most important thing because you have no idea when they're gonna go. You have no idea when they're gonna disappear. And ultimately, everything else that happens in the world with your professional life and everything else, it's only allowed to happen when you have a 
really robust and stable family life and you just don't know when that's going to go and that is the most important thing in the world. I promise you that it is the most important thing in the world. So Ben, invest in your family life, spend time with your family, really get to know them, learn from them and you know, allow them to share in your victories too. I think that's really important and vice versa, share in the losses and yeah, invest in family, invest in a stable personal life. I'm including friends as well. Surround yourself with with good people. I, I see all this stuff around, you are the average of the five per people that you spend the most amount of time with. And you know what, that is true and you do want people that are gonna push you to be better, but in the right way. Don't be around people that are just chasing money or finance or riches or fame. That's, that's not the sort of people that you wanna be around. You wanna be around people that genuinely want the best for you and the best way you'll be able to find out whether or not people want the best for you is when you celebrate your victories. Do they genuinely, genuinely want the best for you? Will they celebrate those victories with you? Make sure you're surrounding yourself ultimately with great people, but invest in your personal life as well as your professional life. I think young people can just focus on where they want to be from a professional perspective and their ambition and drive and forget about what is ultimately the most important part of life. Third and finally, the last thing I would say, which I think at 23, five years ago, I was only just really learning, is the importance of learning and continued learning, and that includes reading. So I was given, funnily enough, I've got this book right here, given this book, which I'm trying to read every day. I will admit I'm not getting to it every day, but I should do. Make sure that you carve out time to learn, whether it's whilst in the gym, whether it's whilst you're on a run, whether it's before work, after work, before bed, whatever it is, carve out a little bit of time and if you don't like reading watch youtube videos and watch good youtube videos not i don't know squirrels doing backflips watch genuine videos that are going to add to your sort of arsenal of things that you have in your brain learn and grow and continue to make sure that you carve out time every single day where you can grow because what i've learned is the most random things that seem to have nothing to do with work or personal life or anything always seem to find a way to come back round and impact those things some of the most impactful conversations i've had are those conversations where you are just talking about nothing chewing the fat exploring new ideas and new areas and all of a sudden boom something will just trigger and it could have huge impact on personal or professional life so finally of the three i would say continue to learn make it a priority so Three things, Ben. If I could go back in time five years and tell myself, it would be, number one, make sure you surround yourself with brilliant people. Learn from every single person that you meet. Have a stable and robust personal life and invest in your personal relationships and carve out a moment every single day to learn. And I think with those three things together, over the long term, I think it will make a massive, massive difference to your life. A few little extra things that I will mention. One, truly understand yourself. There's a personality assessment. It's on understandmyself.com and it's utterly brilliant, okay? Genuinely, genuinely brilliant. The other thing that I would say is just hold yourself accountable. Holding yourself accountable is so, so, so important and believe me, it makes such a difference. And I'm constantly talking to myself in my head and I'm thinking, I don't want to do that. And then I'm sort of talking back to myself and going, with all due respect then, shut the hell up. You've got no right given the incredible situation that you find yourself in, the responsibility that you have. You have no right to procrastinate or turn off that task. You have to do it and you will do it. And I'm sort of you know, talking to myself and telling myself to do it. And all of that is as a result of truly reflecting on and understanding who I am and how I'm built and holding myself accountable to improving and developing from that point. So that's the other thing as a little additional extra I would recommend. Definitely just take time to really understand yourself and reflect on who you are. Aim for the highest possible good that you can, and I do that personally. I know exactly where I want to be, and I've got that aim. How I get there, I've got no idea. But funnily enough, now I do have that aim. All of these things in the world as I navigate through life on a day-to-day -day basis start to point towards that. And just set yourself a goal, set yourself a, a place that you want to be in life or a thing that you want to achieve, and just aim at that and think about it every day. And as you're you know, developing time to learn every single day, let's, let's point back to that. And over time, again, as you're reading, as you're reading through these, these books, funnily enough, the things that will jump out at you and catch your attention as you're reading are things that I promise you will relate to the goal that you want to achieve, whether it's personal, professional, financial, whatever the hell it is, these goals or these things that you 
learn that you pick up in conversation or that you read in a book or you hear in a YouTube video will all start to add up and they'll build foundational knowledge to get you essentially to where you want to be. So that's what I would be telling to myself if I could speak to 23 year old Ben as five years ago. I feel like I'm continuing to learn every day. I don't always nail those things by the way. I'm really trying to do every single one of those and sometimes I fail, sometimes I succeed. But when you zoom out and look at the long term, I'm definitely on an upward trajectory and that is something I'm very proud of. So hopefully you've learned something from this video today. I'm loving taking you on this journey with me as Gymshark continues to grow beyond where we are today. I do find it highly therapeutic, one, to be able to share with you guys, but two, to be able to bring you on this journey. And I, I love the messages of support I get and I love the, the messages I get when people tell me that in some way one of these videos or posts has, has helped, you know, even in a small way, develop, grow, or just help them out on their journey. So. Thank you so much and I will see you all soon.